I wish we had more time. I I hope that we can stay in touch. I hope that um, we're, we're going to continue to follow you. We're going to support you in whatever that you're doing in the future because um, I think you're really aligned with a lot of the things that we believe here at Business Over Beer. Uh, we got to leave it there for tonight. Uh, but before we go, uh, Ben, it's time. Is it time already? It's time already. And I know you've got to be salivating over this one, bro. Larry. Uh-oh. What did I do wrong? It is time for the final question. Okay. Are you ready? The answer is 42. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. We're done. There we go. Told you got magic powers. Good night. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> See you guys. So you are running for X. I'm not going to even say president. It could be whatever. And you have to pick a running mate. But this person is not alive. Somebody not alive. So how am I? How am I carrying him around? Well, whatever. It's a ghost. It's a final question. It's our it's question. Ghost. Oh, I like the ghost job. I want to go. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. There's me, Sasquatch me, and there's me, ghosts. <laughs> have, you, have you ever seen Weekend at Bernie's, Larry? No, no. Me and the ghost VP. I love it. Anybody from history is, is your... Is oh, your I can pick a name from history. Oh, got it. Okay. I thought you really want to make it a ghost. All right. You can make it a ghost. Make it make it Patrick Swayze. That would be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> We'd be dancing. Is that tomorrow? I was just going to say that, Ben. Get Chicks out of my head. That's for nobody sure. Puts, nobody puts Larry in a corner. Absolutely. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't pick Canope, though. Oh, well, yeah. now, I'm stuck. now I'm stuck. Yeah, so I got to pick somebody to be my, my VP now. Doesn't matter. Running mate. Running mate now. Um, From history. If I had to bring somebody now, a tough one because the problem is from history currently with with so much of the one strike your out rule and cancel culture anybody would be a horrible person no matter what i would say unless they were like i don't know born five years ago um so th there's going to be damage no matter who i pick do they have to be american no it's your it's your running mate anybody a tough one. I think I would probably pick Gandhi. Holy shit. Because Gandhi was someone who was humble enough to accept his faults. He was open enough to accept all religions and all people. He was prepared to die for his cause. He was completely no violence as I am. He's a pacifist. And when they asked Gandhi during World War II, when they asked him, you know, how could your tactics of nonviolence work against Hitler? He said, well, they could work, but not without defeats. And don't you have defeats in your war against Hitler? And she was like, well, yeah. So I would have defeats too. But my way works because in the long run, it wins. And when the British asked Gandhi, what do you think, we're just going to walk out of here? He said, yeah. When, at that point, there were 500 million Indians. He said, when 500 million Indians simply refuse to do what 10,000 British soldiers tell them to do, you'll walk away. And we'll still be friends. And I want this nation to heal. I need a healer. I need a healer. Someone who will say, I don't care if you, you yelled at me. I don't care if you're angry at me. You're still my brother. You're still my sister. Right? I tease Democrats, Republicans. And I say, Republicans want to be your dad. They want to protect you from everything. Right? But the Democrats want to be your mom. They want to give you everything. Libertarians want to be your sibling. Just your brother. That's all I want to be is your brother. I want to love you. You love me. We don't live together. Right? I get it. But we need a ride to the airport. I'm there. Damn right. <laughs> so I go with Gandhi. <laughs>